Hey guys, today we're going to be putting a hitch on the Chevy Silverado. Uh, it gives us many opportunities to go out and do stuff. We work hard, so we want to play hard. So let's get to it. You will need the tool seen here to complete this installation. All right, so before we get our hitch up, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a little bit of frame prep here just to get our hitch going. Um, we're gonna be using these existing weld nuts. There's one here and one over here on the passenger side. Uh, as you can see, there's a little bit of surface rust under here. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go ahead and clean out these weld nuts pretty good. Uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with our brush. This is usually good just to help take a little bit of that corrosion off. We can just go ahead and push it up there and we'll pull it back a few times. Uh, if it's really packed full of stuff or really heavy with rust, you can always use a uh, thread cleaner. Um, this will help to take that really heavy duty gunk out of there. Uh, but for today, we're just gonna be sticking with our brush because our, our rust is very light. You just do that a few more times and then we can go ahead and move to the passenger side and we'll do the same thing over here. All right, that should be enough. Uh, from here, we're gonna go ahead and start getting our hitch prepped. All right, guys, here's the hitch that we're gonna be putting on our Silverado today. We're gonna be using this U-Haul exclusive hitch jack. This is really helpful in getting the hitch into place. If you don't have one, you're definitely gonna need a second set of hands. So let's get right to it. All right, here we go. We're gonna get our hitch up into place. As we can see that our holes line up for our different attachment points on both sides very nicely, no drilling required. Uh, we can start getting our hardware right in place. All right, so we got our hitch up into place. All our holes are aligned, so we're gonna start putting our hardware in place. Uh, we're gonna take the plate with the offset hole in our carriage bolt, and that's gonna go here in the center. And then we're going to take our plate with the center hole and once again our carriage block and that's going to go in our forward most attachment point. And then last we're going to have a bolt with a uh, conical washer and that's going to go into the rearmost attachment point and that's with the existing weld nut. Let's move to the passenger or passenger side. All right, over here on the passenger side, once again, we're gonna take our offset uh, plate with hole and our carriage block that's gonna go up here in the center. And then our centered plate with carriage block is gonna go in the forwardmost attachment point. And then our bolt with conical washer into our existing weld nut. All right, once we have all our hardware in place, now we can go ahead and start putting our nuts on our bolts here. With our center uh, bolt, we have a much larger hole than the actual bolt itself, so we're gonna have to use this flat washer. So we'll go ahead and put that up into place. Then we'll do our lock washer and then our nut. There is no washer needed on the forwardmost attachment point. The hole in the hitch is the same exact diameter as the bolt, so no washer needed. All right, let's move to the driver's side. All right, over here on the driver's side, we have our hardware. We're ready to put our nuts on. Once again, in the center hole, we're gonna go and use this flat washer because that hole is much larger. So we'll go ahead and stick that on there with our lock washer here. And then we'll get our nut. There we go, there she started. And then once again, on the forwardmost attachment point, we don't need the washer, so we'll just go with our lock washer and then our nut. All right, now that we have all our hardware in place, let's go ahead and torque it down. All right, now that we got all our hardware up, we're gonna go ahead and torque it down. Uh, we're just gonna follow our instructions and torque it to what the manufacturer recommends. So let's get to it. All right, let's move to the passenger side. All right, we'll go ahead and finish torquing down the rest of the bolts. All right, we're all torqued. All right, now that the hitch is installed and we got the vehicle on level ground, we're gonna get you a couple of measurements. From the ground here to the top of the inside of the receiver tube is 20 inches. And then from the pin hole to the edge of the bumper fascia is two and a half inches. I wanna thank you guys for taking the time to watch our video. Have a good day.
To learn more about the product seen in this video or to schedule an installation by a U-Haul Hitch Professional, visit us online today at uhaulhitches.com.